Hey guys, Tech Asian, we're back with more vintage headphones. Today we have a headphone. I, it's 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 really stretching things if I call the K601 a vintage headphone, but it is an old headphone, and uh, it's the right time to talk about this headphone specifically because a news broke in very recently, a couple of weeks ago. I don't know if you guys know. Most probably you guys know, but uh, AKG, uh, you know, a company I I really like, I really love. I mean, I, I have. I have a lot of vintage AKGs, pretty much all of them, uh, not all of them, but a, a good chunk of them. And I, I really like AKG, the vintage AKG. And uh, very recently, Harman shut down the AKG facilities, R&D facilities and the manufacturing facilities uh, that were there in Vienna, Austria, the headquarters of AKG, where everything started. The company was founded in Vienna. They completely shut down the facilities and they'll be shifting all the manufacturing and the R&D will be probably outsourced or I don't know what they'll be doing, but uh, production will, will, will you know begin. Or it's already started in China and Slovakia. So these two places, the production has shifted and AKG once that used to be one of the most prestigious companies has been completely buried uh, by Harman and the legacy is has ended but why is the k601 a key role in this entire uh in, in this entire story and why am i talking about the k601 specifically thing about the k601 is that this headphone was the first headphone that was launched under harman akg and this headphone harman had a huge play in launching this headphone now that's not to say that harman did not own akg uh you know when this before this headphone was launched uh, actually i think harman owned akg in the 90s maybe in, even the 80s i'm not sure but harman did not do anything to the company all the way up to the late 90s and starting of 2000 when this headphone was launched that is what i think this headphone was launched in 2005 maybe earlier but the development of this headphone started in in the 2000s and this headphone was said to be the mass production mass market headphone AKG would sell under Harman and Harman's leadership and Harman's, you know, uh, Harman being the boss. This headphone was ex expected to be the hot, hot, hot pancake of the company or the hot product that would sell, you know, the you know, to the masses. So the K601 was the first product under that plan, under that, you know, that the intention of you know bringing akg to the mass market because before that akg was a very niche I, I wouldn't even say niche but akg was really uh pro focused market uh you know the k240s and uh, the microphones were the only products akg was successful in selling so the high-end headphones that they made even the, like the k340 and stuff those are very niche products and not they they, they sold but not as much as AKG hoped and the numbers were not there uh, to you know fulfill Harman's requirement because Harman bought AKG not for their R&D expertise. Harman bought AKG because they you know this was a brand they could capitalize on and you know grow the brand and you know with the help of the R&D history that they you know the products that they had launched like the K K1000 the C414 microphones and stuff Harman wanted to capitalize on those uh, on those brand on those products and bring akg out and make akg something like the beats of the 90s that was their intention that was harman's intention but harman saw that that was not working out so they wanted to take care of the r and and stuff and then they launched the k601 which is regarded by a lot of audiophiles one of the worst headphones akg has ever made which is very which is a very bold statement i personally do, really do not agree with that i, I don't think this headphone is as, as bad as people make it out to be to me, it sounds like a K701, K702, K which again are very polarizing headphones amongst the, you know, the AKG fans. Even myself, I mean, I have a lot of old AKGs and I still think that those are better than, than the new AKGs, but I wouldn't say this is a bad sounding headphone like people make it out to be. So the K601 is a very fascinating headphone with a fascinating history because this was the headphone that started the era of Harman AKG and not only AKG itself. K601 uh, launched in 2005. The production lasted, I don't know until when. I have uh, the dates are not clear anywhere online, so I'm not sure exactly. But the K601 lasted a pretty pretty long time until they launched the K701, which uh, you know was basically Harman said, uh, you know, 
okay we screwed up with the k601 we launching the k701 which is fixed which was not exactly what happened that was fixed with the k702 when it, when it was launched so the k601 was a short i won't say it was a short lived product they sold a lot of units in fact uh when akg when harman chose to move production for, into china for the k240s and the K2s, k271s the k601 was among among those headphones that was uh, that was uh, you know produ uh, produced in China. The K702 was produced in Austria as well as the K701. But the K601, when the production was starting, uh, you know, was going on in Austria for the K701 and K702, the K601 was produced in China until they discontinued the K uh, the K601 and they launched the K612, K712, and the new you know headphones that uh, that were there. So I think the K601. Not a lot of people agree on this. I've talked about about this with some of my friends who are akg owners and stuff uh old akg or owners headphone owners and i've told them that i think that the k601 production lasted you know all the way up to the k612 launch uh because the made in china versions uh you know i, I always thought that the made in china version started with the k612 and the k702 uh you know later production but I think that's not true. I think the K601 lasted a bit longer than what history tells us. So the K601 is a fascinating headphone. I think it's not a bad sounding headphone. After some fixing, it sounds pretty good. The bass is there. Uh, I love the white velours. I, lo I love the comfort. I, I, I just love every aspect of this headphone. It reminds me a lot of you know the K701 uh, <clears throat> because it's the same thing. But you know I just like this a bit more because of the white velours. I, I love white wellers of Mabar Dynamics and I love the white wellers on the K601 it's a really nice uh, looking headphone <coughs> the hate of this headphone I don't think is that warranted but I understand like the legacy of AKG before that and then we get a K601 I understand why people are pissed at AKG and why they were at the time but the K601 is not a bad sounding headphone that's something I'm pretty certain of uh, it's a sad day uh, AKG for AKG fans me being one of them AKG lost Mr. Renner, Heinz Renner, who de developed the K1000. Now he's doing his new, his own stuff. And I think that was a big loss for AKG. Losing, you know, see, finding people, finding reliable uh, research people or any anybody in your company. If, you're, if, if somebody's working for you and if they're good, never let them go. Because that's the biggest loss over any other kind of things. Assets and stuff, they can be, they can be built back. But people who help you build that stuff they you know those kind of people are hard to get again so akg screwed up in my opinion by losing these people and uh, you know it was a loss for them and seeing harman has shut down the facilities is really hard to see so you know rip akg you guys were you guys were awesome that doesn't mean akg is not there they still are they still exist but china production in china and slovakia k601 i hope you guys liked it i'll see you guys next time with more vintage headphones. Take it easy and like always, have a good one. Alright.